So, hello everyone. A uh, very good evening to all of you. So, I welcome you all after a long gap of five days. And uh, I should, I think that I should apologize for that also. Don't worry. The videos will continue from uh, today onwards. So, here in this video, this is our eighth video, I think, in our uh, daily Nabard quiz series. So, in this video, we have two paragraphs. I had posted these in our groups. The first one deals with a current issue. Okay, that uh, the first one that is in front of your screen now. Uh, this deals with a current issue, and the second one is, uh, is from a static topic. So, let's try to solve this. Uh, I have already solved actually. Okay, let's try to uh, know a little bit more about this. First, read this paragraph. Many of the things will be clear from uh, reading this only. Here, Nabad has uh, developed a long, uh, sorry, loan originating system. Uh, oh, actually, it is a portal, okay, for RRBs and cooperative banks to facilitate digital Kisan credit card or KCC loan processing. So, this sentence is clear. This uh, digital loan originating portal has been developed by which institution? That is NABARD. And this uh, will facilitate processing of Kisan credit card, KCCs. Okay. So, uh, uh, in a way, we can say that this reduces the time taken for processing them. Okay. And this has been developed for RRBs, regional rural banks, and cooperatives only because commercial banks already have system in place with them. Okay. So, here... Uh, uh, this KCC loan originating system has been developed by NABA. Okay. Next is, this is the current event. Okay. This was uh, developed earlier, but here is the current. After integration of KCC loan originating system with public tech platform for frictionless credit, the third blank. Okay. These banks will gain access to a range of services, including digital land records, Satellite data, KYC, credit history, ETC for more effective credit underwriting. So this was the current event that has happened recently. Okay, NABAR has integrated with PTPFC. Uh, means uh, this KCC loan originating system has been integrated or will be integrated with uh, PTPFC or that is called public tech platform for frictionless credit. Okay, so this will... Uh, make uh, accessible uh, accessible the records land records satellite data and kycs of the farmers and credit history also okay to the to this loan originating system when we are saying that uh, to this loan originating system it means that the banks which are actually using these systems okay so what will happen after this the loan processing through this ekyc actually uh, so this one and uh, this uh, portal is known as ekcc okay through this eKCC portal, okay, loan processing will become even much more easier and faster. Okay, uh, so now uh, uh, it is also said that in, on Nabar website uh, only it was said that the uh, within uh, within hours you can process the loans. Okay, after integration with uh, PTPFCs. Okay, we will discuss about PTPFC also. Okay. Okay, the th uh, next public tech platform for frictionless credit has been developed by Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, fourth blank, okay, who has developed this PTPFCs. Okay, both these uh, PTPFCs and RBIS, they were launched in 2022. Not uh, very, uh, this is not a very old news, okay. 2022 is, not, in fact, uh, these two are in the process of complete development, okay. These are in the process. PTPFC is... Uh, right now is in trial phase. A uh, trial phase is also called sandbox stage. Few organizations you invite to try something new. Okay, so here uh, RBIS or RBIH has invited NABARD, the KCC, EKCC of NABARD to test this. Okay, so here the, the this PTPFC has been developed by RBIH actually uh, on the website of Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. I is written in small letter. So I will change this to small letter only. Okay. Uh, this is a wholly owned subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India. So name itself says the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. So three things are clear from here. Reserve Bank Innovation Hub was launched in 2022. And this hub has developed PTPFC, that is Public Tech Platform for Frictionless Credit. 
and this uh, uh, nabards ekcc has been integrated with this okay and this uh, this integration will help in faster sanctioning of loan and also uh, it will helps in uh, underwriting credit underwriting credit underwriting uh, in normal term we can say that credit underwriting is credit worthiness of a borrower okay through credit underwriting uh, we can access the credit worthiness whether the borrower is eligible or not or whether uh, he will repay the loan or not these are all uh, these can be easily uh, figured out through looking at the land records satellite data of his land kyc of the farmer credit history of the farmer whether he has paid the loans that he has taken earlier or not on time okay all these will help in deciding the uh, credit worthiness uh, this credit underwriting is same okay so these are the things that uh, were asked or were in news recently so let's try to understand these two things public tech platform for frictionless credit and reserve bank innovation hub the name here itself indicates that it is a technical platform for frictionless credit so this platform is an uh, online platform which will uh, uh, facilitate the credit delivery okay frictionless it means uh, no lot of paperwork is needed here okay most of the information you will get here only next most important thing here is the word public it is a public tech platform what do you mean by public tech platform public tech platforms are uh, mm, based on open apis this is a little bit technical term let's uh, understand a bit open api api is Mm, application programming interface. This is a computer term. Okay? Application. Uh, this uh, full form may be asked in your GK question. Okay? Programming interface. Okay. This is a uh, digital platform on which anybody can come and use the services of this platform and develop new products. Okay. What do you mean by this? Suppose uh, in our agriculture term, we can uh, understand it in this way that suppose you have a land which is full of all the kind of nutrients, organic matter, okay, microorganisms, all everything is there, any crop can be grown here, okay. So he, uh, so now you are renting this land to somebody else to do. So what he will do? Uh, the person uh, to which you are uh, renting this land, he may grow any crop here. Okay, he may grow wheat, rice, pulses. Okay, so here you are giving him the platform. Okay, the base. Okay, which has everything. Okay, now by using these things, he can grow anything. So similarly, here in this case, the land becomes application programming interface uh, in digital terms you can say application programming interface and that too it is an open application programming interface anybody uh, uh, can uh, you are offering for rent means that anybody can ask you to give that land uh, for the rent okay so here also the open api is a programming okay using that programming anybody can develop any new product okay so similarly, uh, you must have heard about uh, uh, WordPress. WordPress is also a kind of open API. Here, anybody come, can come and develop their own website. Okay. So it's an open API. Okay. Now, apart from being an open API that anybody can uh, develop any product, so here Nabar has plugged in its uh, uh, EKCC portal. Okay, with this uh, PTPFC, and it will use the services of the PTPFC to sanction loans or at a faster rate. Okay, how it how it 
it can sanction loans at a faster rate because PTPFCs, public tech platform, public tech, uh, ah, yeah, public tech platform for frictionless credit. This PTPFCs, apart from being uh, used, uh, can be used from anybody. It also have some registries which will give you informations uh, about the borrower. Okay, like uh, uh, they have uh, data of the borrower. Okay, their loan history. Okay, uh, and uh, land data. In fact, 10 states have already collaborated with PTPFCs and they have provided their digital land data. Okay, to this platform. All these repositories will be there and this EKCC of NABARD will integrate with uh, all this information and find out uh, the credit worthiness of the borrower or credit underwriting. Okay, so this process will become very quicker. Earlier, uh, uh, if you are in bank, uh, you must be aware that we asked the farmers to bring the land records and we check them. Okay, who um, many a times uh, uh, the banker don't go to the tehsils to check. No? So all this uh, will be done online in a paperless and, and in a seamless manner. Okay, apart from that, borrower, borrower can also share his own information using this platform with the bank from which he wants, he or she wants to take loan. Okay. So this, all this information that is shared by the borrower is consent based. Okay. Okay. The information is already present on this platform. Okay. Many other uh, stakeholders have already deposited the information to this platform. Okay. But which information will be accessible to the bank, which is uh, uh, about to disburse loans. Okay. All these will be consent based. Okay. Yeah we are not infringing into the privacy of the borrower. Okay, all this information is going to be consent based. After taking consent of the borrower only, this information will be provided. Okay, so all these uh, happens in the PTPFC. Okay, so now uh, the particular, the aim of this PTPFC is to make the credit delivery in India frictionless. Okay, frictionless means, I told you no much, much more easier for the bankers as well as the borrowers. Okay, so now let's uh, see what RBIH uh, is. RBIH has developed this public tech platform, Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. Okay, so this RBIH was also developed in, uh, uh, was formed in 2022, and uh, it has uh, it is situated in Bangalore. So uh, it is a company under RBI, under uh, it is a wholly owned subsidiary of RBI, and its initial capital was 100 crore. Okay. So aim of this uh, RBIH is to foster innovation. Innovation, uh, not only innovation. I have to add one more word here digital innovation, foster digital innovation in financial sector. Okay, if this digital innovation may be for credit delivery, maybe for uh, increasing financial inclusion. Okay, and uh, these may be to enhance the capabilities of banks as well as RBI also. Okay, RBI has a regulatory role. So uh, the regulatory capabilities of RBI may also be enhanced. Okay, so if the entire financial sector, uh, looking at the requirement of uh, the banks as well as the customer, any digital innovation will be promoted by RPIH. Okay, so how it uh, uh, perform its function? It is a platform where all the stakeholders in the financial sector come together. Banks are their uh, NBFCs, are their insurance sectors, are their uh, new uh, Software companies are there which are innovating. Okay, uh, unicorns are there. Okay, all these come together and discuss, and they will uh, innovate new products. And PTPFC is one of the example, one of the first example of this product. This PTPFC is an undergrowing project. It will be completed in 2025, 25, 26. Okay, 
So that's all about this paragraph. Next paragraph is about uh, uh, cooperatives. I had told you in our earlier video also that uh, very shortly you are going to face a question about cooperatives. So this is a very uh, uh, basic question. Okay, just read the par paragraph and it will become clear. Primary agriculture cooperative societies uh, is the foundation stone on which whole cooperative structure is built up. They are, they means tax here. They are the grassroots level arm of uh, short term cooperative credit. Okay, uh, for uh, giving short term credits to the uh, uh, to, to its members, the tax is the grassroots level arms. All these you know already. Okay, these societies have federated to central cooperative banks at the district level and central cooperative banks are federated to state cooperative banks which are the apex institution at the state levels okay having close link with rbi and naba okay similarly land development bank meets the need of long term credit this was for short term credit banks okay and land development bank is the cooperative credit structure which meets the needs of long term credit in rural areas uh, here, the state central uh, state or central land development bank now renamed as this is this was our fourth uh, preliminary blanks. Okay, this uh, state or central uh, land development bank has been renamed as state cooperative agriculture and rural development bank is the apex institution through uh, which operates through primary land development banks now renamed as. So this all these things is clear from this single uh, table okay entire cooperative credit institution has been divided into two urban cooperative and rural cooperative in a rural cooperative there are two types of cooperative one is uh, those who provide long term uh, credit and other one is uh, those who provide short term credits okay under short term credits the grassroots level institution is primary agriculture credit societies and uh, all the tax uh, in a district or a taluk, they come together and form central cooperative uh, banks. Okay, and all these uh, federated into state cooperative banks. Okay, this was the portion. In case of long term credit, there are two structures one is the state cooperative agriculture rural development bank, which is at the state level, and the primary cooperative agriculture and rural development banks, which is at the district level. No grassroots or village level institution here yeah, village level institution is the tax okay so now uh, this uh, particular topic is in itself very important for your nabad point of view okay because this keeps on uh, repeating uh, these kind uh, the news you will often find uh, the, uh, the news about the cooperative societies and the recent development recently there has been many developments in cooperative sector you will find some more questions about this. This was a basic question and the first question. Uh, in future, you will find more questions from the current related issues, as well as most of the uh, question. More in more detail, we will study this tax and how tax is related with this and this. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, suppose, for example, recently uh, last year, uh, bylaws were enacted. Tax bylaws. Bylaws are. Uh, these bylaws are not passed in the parliament. They take their from power from the other, some other law that has been passed by the parliament. Okay. So these bylaws has been enacted uh, for tax. Okay. And in these bylaws, there has been a lot of modification about the rule of tax. Now, tax can also give medium term as well as a long term credit also, or long term credit only with the approval of. Uh, central cooperative or state cooperative banks. Okay, they can not only limit it to uh, uh, giving credit only. They can move on to other business like uh, storage, engaging in education sector like uh, schools and colleges. They can run a school and colleges. They can run hospitals. They can promote government schemes. Okay, they can open fair price shops. Okay, under under PDS public distribution system. Okay, all these uh, functions they can now do. Okay, there has been a lot, uh, lot of things happening in tax and cooperative sectors. You will find questions regarding that also in future. So till then, uh, for this video, this much is enough.
we will meet again uh, with the next uh, questions. Okay. Till then, I am ending this video now.